This Python hackerang challenge is called Find the Runner-Up. The instructions are written here. Given the participants' score sheets for a university, we need to find the runner-up score. If we have n scores, we need to store them in a list and then find the runner-up score. In other words, the second highest score in the list. So let's say we have a list like this. It has five numbers, two, three, six, six, and five. Despite the fact that there is a duplicate, we need to find the second highest value, which is five. The idea here can be to sort the array and then return the second to last elements. But if we do that, we're gonna fail whenever there are duplicates. Because in this case, when we sort that array, we're gonna get two, three, five, six, and six. And if you return the second to last elements simply based on the index, you're gonna return six, which is wrong because the second highest value in that array is five and not six. So this is the logic that I've implemented. At first, you see that you only get these three lines. So here they have the value of n for the, um, I believe that's the array size, if I'm not mistaken. Let's check here. They say that the input format contains the first line, which is n, uh, that is the size of the list. And then the second line contains an array called a of n integers separated by spaces. So here, basically, they are splitting the second line of inputs and then turning all the values into integers. That is what this line does. And then they store that into R. So what we can do now is convert R into a list. And I'm calling that list scores. Now I need to sort my list. I can call the sort method on that list. And this is an in-place algorithm, meaning that it performs whatever logic is implemented inside of that function. It implements it or it applies it directly to my list here. So I don't need to get any return value to store it in a variable. So now I need to create two variables. This is going to be for the highest value. I'm calling it first. And this is going to be for the second highest value in my list. I'm setting both of them at first to negative 100. Because if you look at the constraints here, they say that every number in the list is going to be, um, I believe they say is going to be greater than or equal to negative 100. Um, and then here they say uh, less than or equal to 100. So basically the numbers are going to be within the inclusive range of negative 100 and positive 100. At first, I don't know what is the highest value. So I also don't know what is the second highest value. And to be safe, I'm initializing both values to the lowest possible value in my list, which is negative 100. Now that I have my array sorted, which is this scores list that I've sorted here, I can loop through my list. And here I say for every item, for every integer in my scores list, which is now sorted in ascending order, I want to verify if the value of my first variable is lower than the score that I'm at in my iteration. So if it's less, then I need to update my first variable so that it has the value of score because score is currently the highest value that I've encountered. But before I do that, I need to pass the outdated value of my first variable to my second variable. Meaning that as we go through this loop, second is always going to have the second highest value in the list because it gets whatever first is having and then first updates to the highest value at every iteration. And when we are done, we print the value of seconds. So let's run this code. We've passed the sample test case. Let's submit it. And we've passed all the test cases. So that's it for find the runner up score. It was in Python. If you like my Python solutions and my tutorials, please subscribe to my channel and I'll catch you next time.